Hey now, and welcome to Stern Talk, everybody. I'm your host, B.O.S., bringing you another classic video. Tonight's episode is Future Car Model Lori. This is a great episode. This is the episode where a girl named Lori calls into the show and asks Howard if she can come down to the show and be evaluated to see if she has what it takes to be a future car model. Howard likes this girl, so he invites her down to the studio. When Lori gets to the studio, she's super late, and the staff has set up this fake little model car so she can audition and see if she has what it takes to be a car model. Right away, they see that this girl, or something not right with this girl, she's making funny faces and twitching a lot, so... They immediately notice this. Howard takes a call from a listener, and the listener suggests, hey, why don't you give Lori an IQ test? Howard thinks that's a great idea. So they offer her $500 if she could get a couple questions right. This is a really great episode, so let's check it out together. Hello? Yes, Lori. Hi, I was, I was just calling. I wanted to see. Um, it has nothing to do with the show, but I don't know. I was calling. Um, I wrote a letter. About coming into the show. You want to be in the show? Yeah, coming on the show. Why do you want to come on the show? Because um, I watch the show, um, and I, you evaluate, like, models. Um, I wanted to see a, like, for the car model. You want to be a car model? Yeah, like, well, what no, like, the models that like? sit on the, like, on the car. You want to be a girl who yeah. stands next to cars at car shows? Yeah, or, like, in the magazine. I don't know. You want to be a model. Well, are you good looking? Yeah. How tall are you? 5'7". Well, if you want to be a car model, you're, you've are probably set your sights low. I mean, uh, you don't have to be. I've seen some yeah, of these I mean, car models, and i got news for you. Some of them are downright fat. You can find them anywhere, can't you? The lowest rung of the modeling industry is car models or what they call like, you know, like Budweiser girls. The girls who go to bars, and they, they get 50 bucks, and they pretend to be from Budweiser, and they talk to horny guys. Car model is pretty much the same thing. You stand next to the car, but usually a chubby chick in a bikini, and they'll pay you like 50 bucks. What made you think car model? Well, I'm not, I know that, I mean, I'm not sure. Um, I just would like to like do some like modeling, but I was thinking that because some... Do you have a gunt? Animals, but I don't know what to do, really. Do you have a gunt? A what? A flap of belly skin that hangs over your bikini? No. You got a good body? Yeah. And what about your lid, your face? How's yeah. your lid? I sent, I sent a letter with um, pictures and stuff. <laughs> Why don't you work at Hooters? Go for a real job. Yeah. No, I just, I was just interested in like, uh, I don't, I didn't think I was actually going to be on the radio right now, but like coming in. Well, you can come in. I can tell you if you could be a car okay. model. I, I would think if you've got a vagina, you could be a car model. But maybe she could be something more. I don't think she uh, she doesn't know where she fits on the scale. All right, fine with me. Hold on, okay. I'll schedule you in. Okay. I'll take a look at you. Bring your bathing suit down so that I can evaluate okay. you. All right. As soon as Howard starts to talk to Lori on the phone, he can tell she's going to be a great guest. Hi, my name is Lori, and I'm here on the Howard Stern Show. Um, I'm in a bikini to see if Howard can evaluate me to see if I if I can be a model, a car model. What do you mean a car model? Um, go to car shows and just model the cars. Like, show me what you mean. If there's a car, just, um, I guess, point at it. So a chick calls me the other day, we're on the air, and uh, she says, uh, I want to be a car model. I said, well, come on down, I'll look you over. See if you can model cars. Because what I understand, even if I've seen some of these chicks who come in here and claim to be car models, if they're fat, they sometimes stick them in a bikini and let them uh, be a car model. Yeah. Car model. <laughs> you go to these car shows and you just stand in front of the car for, and they give you 50 bucks if you stand there in a bikini. And this is what she aspires to be. That's what she wants to be. I figure if she stands in front of like 10 million cars, she'll be a millionaire. <laughs> She's got a lot of standing ahead of her. Anyway, this is Lori. She comes to us from, I think, Pennsylvania. Didn't she come from Pennsylvania? I think so. All right. And as you can see, Robin, I have a Howard Stern car set up so she can lean against it. We can get the full effect. Yeah. Oh, hey. hey honey, you got a nice body, I'll tell you that. How you doing? Good. I tell you, there's something about Lori. I know she's a little wacky and a little different, but there's something about her. I really like Lori. She's super cute.
You're Lori. Yeah. Where are you from, Pennsylvania? I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey, Pennsylvania? <laughs> no, I'm not from um, Pennsylvania. Phillipsburg. Phillipsburg? Phillipsburg. Phillipsburg. Oh, I know. Didn't you tell me this morning you were coming from eastern Pennsylvania? Yeah, that was the bus station. Oh. The Jersey one, you have to go to Pennsylvania to get here. Yeah, I All have right. to go right across the river. How old are you? 25. Well, you look pretty good. Yeah, you look a nice young. body. Yeah. Thanks. You got the big tattoo on your arm, though. I don't know if they go for that, but I think at these shows, they don't care. I don't know if the girls have barbed wire tattoos on the car. Some of them do. I don't know. I had this one girl came in and claimed she was a car model. She was like 25, 30 pounds overweight, and she, she was a wreck, right, Gary? Yeah. Absolutely. I remember yeah. that girl. Maybe she, this girl's too small. No, she looks good. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, if they like the big, fat girls at the car show. So what's the problem? Did you go to some guy and say, hey, I want to be a car model? Have you applied yet? No, I was looking at the magazines um, where the girls sit on it, and I just thought that, like, um, you know, car magazines. Oh, you want to be in a magazine? Yeah. Oh, you ain't going to be in any magazine. <laughs> you got to go to one of those car shows, I thought, and just sit by the car and stand there so guys can look at you in a bikini. Uh, I don't know. Is that what you want to do? Um, no, well, yeah, I guess You want to be a, ma a model in a magazine? Um, yeah, like no, this. No, you ain't going to get to do that. No, that's no. not you. You don't have that look. Yeah, so I gotta tell you, I talked to her this morning. Very sweet girl. She's not the best communicator in the world. Really? It's just hard to. It's hard when you talk to her. She doesn't give you the right answers. <laughs> she doesn't give you any I'm kind of like. I don't know. What do you do now? Funny. I'm going to school. What school are you in? It's a community college. Oh. Uh -huh. What are you majoring in? Um, I'm going for uh, web design. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So you want to be a spider? Well, honey, I'm here to tell you. I think you could be like you could go to one of the car shows and stand in front of a car. With that bikini. But That's, she needs to do something with her hair and... Yeah, fix you, dial yourself up a little bit. You look a little like, you know, like you just rolled out of bed. Yeah, I did. Yeah. See, Doug was going to take her today he, to the top um, car model convention guy to see, sort of give her an audition, see if she's good enough. Yeah, go ahead. Based on what I've seen, she's good enough. You only get like 50 bucks for standing there the whole day. Okay. How often do these car shows come around? You can't make a living at this. You're a tough interview. I don't know. I know. I'm sorry. Hey, Gary said I'm you were just, a little bit out of it. I'm just really tired, and I just feel, like, overwhelmed, kind of. She was supposed to be here at 7 o'clock. Uh-huh. So she called Gary. goes, I'm late. He goes, well, why are you late? You, did you, what'd you do? She goes, well, my bus was at 5.15, but I missed it, so I'm going to take the 6.15 bus. He says, well, you're supposed to be here at 7 o'clock. Yeah. Well, I don't have a car, so I am... Um, was re relying on somebody, but they, uh... They bombed out on you? Yeah. So the guy goes, oh, so you're late. You you missed the bus. She goes, no, I didn't miss the bus. I, he goes, no, you missed your bus. She goes, no, 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 I... She kept saying, I kept saying, so you're supposed to be on the 545, but you didn't get on it. Yeah, because you missed it. No, 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 what happened was, uh, I go, but you missed the bus. And she kept saying, no, I didn't miss the bus. I missed the bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So you missed the bus, right? Yeah. I'm it, sorry, I didn't get much sleep. I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, she, is she going to be like this at the car show? You got to oh, be a little perkier. Hey, this is a car. You like cars? Well, there's a car. Model it for us. Here's a yeah, car. Yeah, there's a car. If you want to model, go ahead. Just stand there and like point to it. and. Yeah. Let me see how you do it. That's great. Point. I'm sorry. I'm like really nervous. Like, Don't be so nervous. If you're going to be up in front of like 50,000 people pointing at cars, you got to learn how to do it. We're going to take you over to the car model, dude. And you make a lot of faces, too. Do you know that? What's that all about? I know. I don't know. If you're going to be a model, you can't make faces. I don't what, know. are you nervous? Do you twitch or something? You seem a little twitchy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're making a weird face. Should she lay on the hood in a sexy way? And, uh, oh, don't over. they sit on the cars, those models? Yeah. See how you keep going like this? I know. I'm sorry. Because I just feel like I, I don't know. I just... well, you want to be a car model, you can't be making weird faces. You're going to scare people away. I'm overwhelmed. Hi, car, model. <laughs> I live in Arkansas. All right, yeah. now here, point to the car and act like you like the car. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's a car. <laughs> All right, Bill, you seem to be doing it. <laughs> Show me a car, honey! <laughs> Where's the car? Does a car model say anything about the car, or they just point Sometimes to it? Sometimes they do know something about the car. Right, they might go, you know, this is the uh, 2003 BMW 325i, oh. and it's got, you know, I don't know. Artie is on fire in this episode. Oh, how that's good. You hand, can you do that? Do you know anything? 2003. Do you know anything about the cars? 
It's um, a nineteen seventy eight. Are you into cars? Do you enjoy no. car? No. Then why did you think car modeling? I don't know. I just thought like on the magazine thing. That's all. Here, you know something about cars, Gary. Gary, make up what kind of car this is she's standing in front of, and then she'll repeat it. Okay, this is a 2004 BMW 325i. It's got four-wheel drive. It's got leather seats. It's got uh, Sirius radio in All it. All right, that's good. All right, go ahead. 325 BMW. Um, has leather seats, a radio. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. Oh, this right. is well, a BMW good. with a radio? <laughs> <laughs> radio. All right, well, it seemed like, uh, seemed like maybe you could do this kind of work. You look good in your bikini, and that's what's important. Yeah. Do they like the belly ring? Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, because a lot of guys who go to car shows like that. All right. They don't get to see that on their wives. That's great. I have a belly ring. Hi, you're on the air. Hey, Anthony, you're on the air. Hey, what's up, Howard? What's up, buddy? Where this girl grew? She said she's from Phillipsburg. Yeah. I grew up in Phillipsburg, and that is like now it's like one of the nastiest towns you could be in. All like the druggies and everything are coming over from Easton, and like it's really bad there, man. Trust me. It's a bad town. A lot of white trash. Yeah, definitely. Not where I live. I live in the country, kind of. Phillipsburg is a small area, man. It's not that. Are you big on drugs? I mean, Are you on drugs at all, or what? No. 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 Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. What do you got? Booby implants? Or those are those your real boobs? No, they're real. Yeah, they look nice. You ever work naked? Hmm. You ever do any nudity? No. No. Uh, you know, you're not going to be, you can't pick at yourself while you're modeling. Yeah, she does make a ton of faces, boy. Yeah, she twitches a lot and you pick at your belly and yeah, stuff. Stop doing I that. just feel kind of like insecure. Like well, think how you're going to feel when you're there at the car show. If you went to see the top guy, the, the guy that could give you all the jobs, and he said, listen, I think you look great, but I just need you to, I just need to see you at your top off, what would you say? Um, why, why would they need to see that? Mm. It's important for to, to just see what kind of body you have. <laughs> That's a good question. See That's how you're taking question. your hand and you're poking your chest? I know. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, you got to keep your hands at your sides. My pancreas mm. hurts. <laughs> sorry. See, you're doing it again. You're touching. She can't stop. What, do you got OCD or something? No. All right, all right. What's that? Calm down. See how you keep taking your hand and like twitching and touching yourself? Mm -hmm. You can't do it when you're at the car show. Stand up straight. I would normally, but I just feel funny just like standing. Yeah, well, how are you going to feel when you're at I the know. car show? That's what I'm trying to show you here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Does she have more teeth than fingers? I don't know. Do you have more teeth than fingers? <laughs> um. How are those teeth? Are they nice and white? Or they're, uh, she looks good. Yeah, she's she's got a pretty nice girl. White teeth. Yeah, uh, Dave, go ahead. I got like an 85 Dodge uh, minivan. Is she going to come over and model that for me? Are you, for 50 bucks, go over and start modeling in front of this guy's car. <laughs> Let's go to Kim. Kim, you're on the air. We're on with uh, future car model. Oops, not there. Future car model Lori, who uh, this is her aspiration. Aspiration, yeah. There's yeah. a word like that. Yeah. I know things. Not like everybody says. <laughs> yeah, Rich. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, Howard, this girl's a box of rocks. Give her a watch and make her take her clothes off. <laughs> Come on. Chris, go ahead. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, uh, you've got to give this retard an IQ test. Everybody seems to be getting the impression you're not bright. Is it true? I no, I am. It's just when I'm like... Honey, you're one chromosome short of a mongoloid. Uh, what's a mongoloid? <laughs> what's a mongoloid is what's right. A chromosome? <laughs> what's a yeah, chromosome? Is... Poor Lori. She is just super nervous. That's what I believe is making her twitch and make all those faces and stuff. She's just very uncomfortable. <laughs> Do you know what a mongoloid is? Yeah. Give her an IQ question. Let me see what we're dealing with. How many, uh, how many senators are there from each state? That ain't an IQ question. What's eight times nine? Um, seven, uh, 72. There you go. Isn't oh, that no, I'm stupid? not good at math. But you're right. What's 20% of 400? Um, 40? No. I don't know. 20% of 400. I'm not good at math. Like. I know what 10% of 100 is. 10. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so you don't know that one? Ten, what, 10% of... 20% of 200. Um, two, uh, 20. That's 10. I know I sound stupid. <laughs> 20, I guess. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. No, but that's 10%. The... What would 20% be? Of, uh, 200? Yeah. You're close. You don't have any confidence. 10% is 20. What's 20% of 200? 
Ten percent is twenty. Right. Yeah. Right. Of two hundred. Yes. Yeah. We better hurry up and get I'm topless. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. You don't sound stupid. I'm just like really dazed because I didn't get much sleep last. Well, night. let me tell you something. Before the SATs. I went to the emergency room with my friend. I had to. What was wrong? She um got her ear <laughs> stung by a bee. She, uh. was, di- she was dying of boredom. <laughs> oh. No. No, Artie. I'm sure she's the light of your, I mean, the yeah. life of the party. Yeah, she, now, why are you tapping on your shoulder like that? I don't know. I'm You're so nervous. Well, maybe she's just not good at math. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, Ask G- her a language G- question. Okay, who was the president during the Civil War of our country? Um. She'll get this. I got confidence. You mind if we bet on your answers? <laughs> <laughs> I do it. I got cash. You want to bet? I'll get it. The president during the Civil War. Uh, Lincoln. Uh, what was that? What'd you say? Lincoln? No. <laughs> no? Well, can we try someone else then? need your final answer. We need your final answer. I don't know that. Okay, I'm sorry. This music is all. The music is messing you up. <laughs> there might be music at the car show. I might give you $500 cash. You get three questions right. Okay. Your first question is, who was the president during the Civil War? The president in the Civil War. Um, I'll need your answer. Do you know what the Five. Civil War was? Yeah, I, did, I know what that was. Um, what was that about? I just, I'm, like, I have a blank. Who fought during the Civil War? It was, yeah, uh, the North and the South. Okay, right? so who was the president? I think you know this. Go ahead. Did I say it? Lincoln? That's right, Lincoln. Yes! Very You're good. You're on your way. Two more right, <laughs> okay. and you, you get $500. $500. And a shot at becoming a car model. <laughs> Should we move to science or math? I want to see her design a website. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Turn on the computer. <laughs> you know how to use the computer? I think so. All right. <laughs> what do I look like? All right, here's your second question. Spell design since you are a web designer. Okay. D E S I N G N. Say that again. D E S I G N. That is correct. Yes! This girl's You're coming through. One question away. What does WWW stand for? World Wide Web. That's it. $500. Okay. You won 500 just for knowing stuff. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Good thing we didn't ask you 20% of 400. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You want to go double or nothing? If you win, you win 1,000. If you lose, you have to take your top off. Ooh. Now, what are you saying, Baba Booey? We'll ask you three more questions. Go ahead. If she wins, she wins an additional 500. But if she loses, she has to take her top off. What do you think of that? If there are these kinds of questions, then... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they're easy questions like that, then yeah, okay. Well, I can't guarantee they're questions you know the answers to. Because $1,000 I could use. I bet. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Okay. For $1,000, or if you don't get them right, you have to take your top off. Three more you questions. You understand that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I understand, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First question, spell automobile. A-U-T-O-M-O-B-I-L-E. That is correct. Wow. Your second question. How many sides to a pentagon? Six. Wait. Pentagon. I see you're counting. I'm trying to, a pentagon, um, five? Is it? Well, you've said two different answers. I need your final answer. What are you counting over there? She's I'm trying to design it. All right, go like, ahead. I know, I like... <laughs> she can't design a pentagon. No, I'm, I'm thinking of a pentagon. <laughs> How are you going to design a web? <laughs> All right, you're drawing One, in the two, air. Five. Right? Is that your final answer? Yeah. That's correct. Okay. All right, now you got to answer one more. Although yeah. you can't design a pentagon if you don't know how many sides there are. Right, I was going to, how do you draw it if you don't know how many sides it is? All right, all you got to do is get the next one right. 
And I'm not even going to ask you 20% of 400 because if I asked you that, I know I'd be seeing your boobs right now. Are you ready? Are you nervous? No, not really. What is 20% of 500? No, just kidding. If you're an old school fan of Howard Stern, you'll remember a girl named Debbie Tay, space alien. She used to make faces just like Lori. She'd get real nervous and squint her face and make these really weird faces. And Howard loved Debbie Tay, too. I'm not even going to go there because I know that gives you trouble. I'm trying to be fair about this. Who's the vice president of the United States? There is, do you know who the president is? Bush? Right. Is it... Is it, um, God. <laughs> I love the music. I know, it's getting more intense. I think we'll need a first and last name for this one. Yes. Uh-oh. -uh. The president, oh, the uh, vice president. Well, first of all, who's the president? You know this one, yeah. right? Okay, you said Bush. You know his first name? George. Okay, so, so far you got that. You, we're going to break it down for you. I'll help you with it. You know what he is, a Republican or a Democrat? Uh, Democrat. Okay, it's close. <laughs> now, oh, I'm sorry, I don't that's know. okay. Don't even, who cares? Now, he ran with a guy. Some people say he's running the entire country, the vice president. Now, draw him with your finger, and I guarantee you, you'll be able to get it. <laughs> I probably look really stupid because I'm not, I can't no, you think don't. right now. Do you have any answer? answered every question so far. Yeah. The only thing that's coming to my you head. Want me to switch the question yeah. for you? Okay. What is a femur? Is it um, a leg bone? All right. Yes. That's good enough. <laughs> okay. We'll take that. All right. It's what actually the thigh. It's a thigh bone, but it's in the leg. Well... You've gotten all the questions right. You've won $1,000. We don't get to see your boobs. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. Do you, do you just want to show them to us out of gratitude? What? Uh, no. No? Right. You sure? From, uh, for money. No, just kidding. <laughs> I have to ask. Sorry. <laughs> all right. For $5,000? I'm just kidding. No, I can't. <laughs> That's what we paid Hannah Lockley. We're not giving you five grand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, the vice president of the United States is Colin Powell. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Just in case anybody else asks you. Okay. Go out with that information. All right. What is it, Gary? Uh, I think James Brown is here. Oh, you're kidding. Well, we could be introducing him to his next wife. That's what I'm thinking. kidding. <laughs> Would you, do you like James Brown? Mm -hmm. Do you know James Brown? Um, yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is he the vice president? What do you think he does? Is he a singer? Right? That is correct. And that's another question. That's correct. Black guy or white guy? Black. Black guy, right. <laughs> All right, James is here. I'm sorry he's late, but uh, it was a pleasure meeting you, Lori, and hopefully we can help you get some car modeling work. It, you know, she's sort of on a delay. You know, everything you ask her, she says, what, and then gets it like two seconds later. You ever date a black guy? No. Yeah. Would you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to answer that. <laughs> Why not? You got me. All right. Good job. I think you're good looking enough to be a car model. All right. <laughs> She's a little Marissa Tomei-ish, isn't she? Sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's what... Oh, I thought that... What? <laughs> I thought the microphone was still on. Sorry. It is. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't you hear yourself in your headphones? Well, say it. <laughs> no. What were you going to say? No, I just said I just said that because when they called me and asked me questions, like I wasn't expecting. I was like, uh. Stop rubbing yourself if you're going to be a car model. Put your hand down at your side. All right. Stop picking your ass. Yeah. All right, we'll be back right after this. Lori, how'd everything go in there? I went okay. I don't think I was. I was kind of nervous, so I didn't really say much. But it, other than that, it went good. Yeah, Lori could be a little ditzy, uh, a little bit different, but look at her right there. She is smoking hot, and she has a great body. You won $1,000. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm happy. So what about Howard's evaluation of you? Do you think that he was impressed? Do you think that he thought you were a good car model? I think it was fair, pretty much. Do you want to go to an agency and, and see what they think? Yeah, that would be really good. All right, let's go. Okay. I'm in the waiting room at the Lions Group. Hopefully I can speak to somebody about being a car model. 
Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Lori. I hear you want to be a model. Yes. Come back. Let's okay. go. All right, so tell me a little bit about you. Um, I'm interested in uh, like being a model for car magazines. Car magazines? Or car shows. Car shows. Yeah. Promotional work. Yeah. Okay. Um, what uh, sparked your interest in this? I just got the thought one day, uh -huh. and I just thought it would be something that would be fun to do. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some shots of you today. We're going to see how you look, uh, body-wise, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay. All right? Okay. That sounds good. Walk towards me. Real sexy. Look at me. You're looking good. Looking good. Wow. All right. I'm not feeling it. A little more. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. All right, Lori, that was great. I think I got what I need. We're gonna go back to the office, take a look at the pictures, and that's it, it's a wrap. Hi. Hey, Lori. Hi. Here's a few of your photos. Take a look. Uh, right off the bat, after looking them over, I think that you have the foundation to be a car model, uh, to do some promotions work. Um, there's a few things I think you need to work on. You need to work on your complexion, your tan. You need to do a makeover with your hair, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, work on your smile a little bit. See, in this photo, you look a little bit awkward. What you need to do is sit in front of a mirror and smile and look at yourself and look at what sort of... When, when you look good, how does your face feel, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do. I know it sounds stupid. It works, trust me, okay? Uh, so I want you to work out. I want you to tone up your stomach, uh, especially around in here and also your legs. Okay, consider maybe getting breast implants. A lot of the girls do it. And if you can do that stuff, tone up, don't get any more tattoos, yeah. then uh, you know, come back and I'll be happy to book you on some car shows, or at least try. Wow, you can really tell that this uh, video was from 2003. Fake boobs, skinny chic heroin look was in. Not good, man. I like the way Lori looks right here. She, I think she's hot. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Congratulations, you're almost on your way to being a car model. Okay, <laughs> good. I was a little nervous upstairs, but now I'm more relaxed. Check out this nice car. It's a 2002 Mercedes-Benz uh, V8, 295 horsepower, um, black leather interior. It's a very nice car. S430 with dual chrome exhaust. What'd you think? Was that better? Well, there it is, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that episode as much as I did. As you can see, Lori, uh, as soon as she got out of the studio and was out on the street, she got way more confident. I think that's the true Lori. The Lori we saw in the Stern studio, she was nervous. Well, that's it, everybody, and I hope everybody's enjoying my channel. And if you are, please hit the subscribe button and come on back. I've got some great videos coming up. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.